Mukbang. Just be a two hour workout. Hey guys, just got done with my Friday workout. Uh, it was a pretty good workout. Say, uh, it's supposed to be a two hour workout. <clears throat> Excuse me, that is fucking hot. Wow, put a pretty good amount of habanero sauce in there. Oh, now back to the workout. Two hours and 18 minutes just under. I had to do some Pennsylvania hill repeats. Pennsylvania is a hill that's out near the 20 mile marker by Sunrise Boulevard. I started out the ride with a 15 minute warm up. I got on at the Discovery Bag Trail around mile marker one. And I had a 15 minute warm up, had to warm up at around 200 watts, 185 watts. So for 15 minutes, uh, four and a half miles, I had a 92 cadence and I averaged 179 watts. That's like right under 185 watts, so that's pretty good. We're going to lap two. I had to do three 10 minute sweet spot efforts, which is about 293 to 309. And I had to do these 10 minute efforts with a three minute recovery. So the first one was 10 minutes and I had a 90 cadence and I averaged 301 watts. Hey, <laughs> that's not bad. I was feeling pretty good today. So like it was kind of neat to see like, you know, I could push the watts. Key thing today was I told myself I wasn't gonna watch my cadence when I was doing the sweet spot efforts because I get messed up inside my head and I'm like, no, I need to have a high cadence, I need to have a high cadence and I can't push the wattage. And so I'll be pushing like 240 or something and I'll have too high of a cadence. So today I seen myself in the 80s, but on the first one, not bad. Um, 90 cadence, 300 watt, 301 watt average and 24 mile an hour average for 10 minutes. So then I had to follow that up with a three minute recovery, 101 cadence, 21 average, 211 watt recovery. Then we're gonna go into lap four, the second 10 minute sweet spot. I average a 94 cadence, average 305 watts. Next three minute recovery, average 100 cadence, average 207 watts. And then my final sweet spot of 10 minute effort, I averaged 94 cadence and I averaged a 287 watts. It was really hard to hold the 300 watts on the last one because I was going through these like little rollers on the trail. And so I was clicking up and down gears trying to like have a smooth pedal groove. And so it was a little harder, but that's not bad. That's pretty good. Um, and you know, I did it straight up out of the ride. I haven't really done much intensity. I wasn't quite at Pennsylvania, so Instead of a three minute recovery, it was a 13 minute recovery. It took me 13 minutes to get to Pennsylvania after the 310 sweet spots. I had a 94 cadence on the 13 minute recovery and 192 watt average. So I had to do, it was a minute to a minute and a half up Pennsylvania climb and I had to average 251 watts to like 290 watts. And I found it really hard to not go above 300 watts on the climb. So I was kind of like curious to see how I did. And I don't, I think I did all right, but as I st started doing, I felt like I got better. I think the fourth effort was the least amount of watts used, but the fastest time up it. So let's see. First effort up Pennsylvania was a minute, 13 seconds, 93 cadence, 327 watt average. Then the second effort was a 94 cadence, 329 watt average was a minute 12, so that was faster by a second. Third effort was a 97 cadence, 328 watt average, a minute 15, so I jumped back up and I lost three seconds. Fourth effort, here we go. I averaged a 100 cadence, 342 watt average at a minute 10 seconds. All right, I think there was one faster than that, but I think it's the next one. Minute 14 seconds, 97 cadence, 323 watts up it, 105 cadence with a 356 watt average with a minute eight seconds. That's my fastest time up at a minute eight seconds with a super high 100 cadence. And I even actually had my higher wattage. I didn't realize it was just I had a higher cadence. So my legs weren't fatigued toward the end. I had to do these five one minute, one plus 110 cadence drills. So the first one was a minute, Average 112 cadence, 171 watts. Second one was average 113 cadence, 198 watts. Third one was 111 cadence with 200 watts. 
I did 112 cadence with 217 watts, did a 96 cadence at 143 watts. After the five one minute efforts, I had to do like chill watts 185 and I did a 93 cadence for 50 minutes with the 165 watt average. So not bad. I did my whole ride 43 miles in 2 hours 17 minutes. And I rode extremely chill for those 50 minutes, so it really brought everything down, but it's okay because I made the efforts count. Average of 94 cadence, max of 127 cadence, average 19 miles an hour, 202 watt average for the ride, burned 1800 calories, it was about 86 degrees. And right when I got done with the ride, I smashed in 700 calories of fruit. I had 40 ounces of cold pressed mango juice just right away, and it fucking hit me so hard like so good and I was just like oh man yeah that's good got home I uh, did my core workout my six minute core workout jumped in the shower started making this amazing mukbang that I'm not even eating uh, yeah I got hella energy now I'm excited because after I eat this I'm gonna sit around for like an hour maybe watch a movie and then try to get to bed really early and then I got this like men's health magazine from the barbershop today and it had like erectile dysfunction uh, like ad in there that talked about fruit and bananas and stuff and I thought I could talk a little bit about that in a, in a separate video and then also there's this other one about eggs and the cholesterol being good so I kind of want to do some research so I can try to do like an educational video but uh, that'll be in a different video also I got my new cookbook in the mail let me go grab it real quick <laughs> vegan omicon so i thought i could go through this book and like make recipes like well maybe once a week or twice a month and show you guys like how to make real food that's vegan uh, i'm super stoked one of the cooks at my restaurant told me about it so i bought it online for 20 bucks not a super exciting day but um this is the best part of the day right here This video, it's gonna be pretty long, so sorry if it's boring. And then this spaghetti is super spicy. I wish you could try it. I don't know how many of you people love spicy food that's actually spicy, like really hot. Like, I love heat. Oh, also, I got a really exciting package coming in the next week, and I'm gonna do an unboxing. I can't wait, because I've been talking about it. I just really can't wait to like get it and show you guys and get to use it and see how awesome it is having this tool for my YouTube videos. If you guys have any like ideas of like, maybe something you guys wanna see as an episode on my, my channel, like let me know, like me skateboarding or I don't know, just like anything. And then if it's like appropriate, I'll do it. I've been skateboarding for like 15 years, so Once race season's over, I want to film like an edit and like put a part together. Just because I miss skateboarding and I still love it. But um, yeah, let me know down below what you guys are interested in and uh, maybe it's something in my wheelhouse I can do it for you. All done with the pasta. I crushed a total of 4,600 calories today. I had 19 bananas total. I had 13 bananas on my way walking to work. And then I had another six bananas before I ran to the grocery store and picked up my seven pounds of pasta and food for next week. I'm gonna be doing a lot of spaghetti for dinner. Then I did my workout. And with my workout on top of my calories, it said I should have been eating 5,500 calories today. 46 is good. I'm not gonna wanna eat again. It's like just before eight o'clock. And so I'm gonna put my feet up and edit my video and read a little bit more out of that magazine. Today's uh, macros it was 86% uh, carbs, 10% protein, and 4% fat. That's still super low, Like, and I ate a ton of food. Um, and also, I think I had 20 grams of fat total for 4,600 calories, so the fat you eat is the fat you wear. Low fat, low fat, long term and you'll get your results.